Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting a teapot and for the supplies I will be using same supplies I used for my previous paintings. So all of them are listed in the description box if you want to check some of them out. I'm starting off with my sketch and I did just use a round coaster. You can use any round object that you have or a ruler to draw the circle just to help yourself have the, I guess, the guide for drawing your teapot because my teapot is an oval and well, I guess circle will help me to create somewhat symmetrical oval. And afterwards, I'm just adding on top the lid for my teapot and also the part where on which is the teapot standing on, then the handle and the, I guess the part where the tea is poured out. And it's going to be an old looking vintage teapot. So when I finished with my sketch, I'm just adding the ink on top. And I'm using 01 from Micron Pigma. And you can see also again that my lines are not straight. They're quite sketchy and broken. Just doing first the basic inking and later on I will be adding some details. I did not draw the embellishments flowers with pencil but you can do that. It would make it easier for you. You can just sketch them with your pencil and go on top with ink. I did not do that. I went straight with the ink. Just adding some flowers, very very simple flowers, some leaves. And also I will be adding a couple of different plants also. Different florals on top of the ones I already did. Some, I guess, dots with black ink. And again, a little bit more of the details, embellishments. And when I was happy with that, I'm just mixing in some yellow and a little bit of the black to create somewhat, somewhat a beige color and I went straight into my teapot adding that color and actually I forgot to do the inking shading before I started with my watercolors so I will be adding that a little bit later on but if it makes it easier for you that's the process we were doing before you can just do your um, shading and details before you start your watercolors. On the bottom I do want to make it slightly darker so I'm adding a little bit more of the color, same colors, but this time a little bit more saturated. And also in some parts where I think the shadows should be and some darker parts I'm adding the same mix of the colors. And also I decided to do the background with the same color again but this time more water down, some splatters, just to create a little bit more of the texture and then just tapping in with the tip of my brush a little bit more of the pigment. I left it to dry completely and now I'm actually doing my shading and details. As I said, you can do them earlier before you start your watercolors, that's just up to you. And also I'm going on top of the lines I already did with my ink pen, just making some of them a little bit thicker. And of course adding those details and shading, cross hatching, just following the shape of my teapot, the parts of my teapot, making some lines stronger. And also in the lower part, I do want to add, I guess, the darkest shadow. So here I will be adding the most ink. And you can see I skipped my flowers when doing the, when I started to paint with watercolors. Well, I guess that's something that you can do, but if it's a little bit more difficult, you can definitely paint on top of them also because our teapot is quite light. So later on we will be adding somewhat more saturated color on top. So it doesn't matter if you go on top of your flowers also. 
you can see I'm adding quite amount of ink here and now picking up some pink and adding on top of my flowers you can see quite saturated color I'm not gonna make it very watered down just adding on the bottom some color and then uh, rinsing my brush and moving it around on the other parts of the flower a little bit of the green for the leaves and I'm not even trying to stay within the lines I drew for my flowers and leaves even if I go a little bit outside those lines that's just fine I'm not gonna be bothered with that I added also some black in the center and to those smaller flowers I guess <laughs> some foliage on top and also adding a little bit of the pink now I will add some splatters with pink with this a little bit smaller brush because at this point I don't want those splatters to be bigger now I'm just picking up more water and making those splatters a little bit more bigger on the sides of my teapot but on the teapot itself I, I did do a little bit smaller splatters so I wasn't using a lot of water a bit more details again and I guess I just wrote day October 10th and when it all dried I was just looking at it it was just looking too bland and too flat so I decided to add a little bit more yellow yellow glaze on top just to make it pop a little bit more just to make it shine so I've added a little bit of the yellow on top and with that I'll be finishing off this video and this painting and guys thank you so much for watching for all your support I hope you're enjoying this Inktober and if you are please hit the like button share it comment let me know what you like what you don't and I guess if you haven't still subscribed to my channel there is like over 400 tutorials there so I'm sure you will find something for yourself real-time videos for the Inktober are available for my channel members so there is also a link in the description box if you want to read a little bit more about the membership and again thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time bye